<laughs> All right. Good morning, everybody. I love it. <laughs> this is Hob, and that's Cheese. cheese. Oh. Yeah, we're good at this. This whole talking over each other, right? So this is Cheese Stick. All right. So he has a name. It's Cheese. So we are playing Space Engineers today again, as usual. Um, last week there, there was a stream, but it was lacking in cheese steak and lacking in, uh, in a functional hob. So we're, uh, we're pretending it didn't happen really. Um, as most of you will know, last week, I actually, I expanded the, uh, or corrected the cryotube area. So we actually have an appropriate and proper cryotube stack, uh, two upstairs, two downstairs, a uh, sealable cryo chamber with its own pressure, although this one is, okay, it's set to pressurize. Good, good. I was like, wait a minute, is that depressurizing? No. Okay. Um, uh, Cheese did log in, and he was alive in the cryo tube, even though I thought he might be dead in there. I had hoped that I didn't disconnect him, but, you know, every once in a while, crap happens. And But it looks like I was successful in keeping him him alive, so... Uh, I did manage to do some work on the back of the base. Put your helmet on. Oh, look at this. And close the door. All right. And as you'll see, we've actually I've started building up a flight of stairs, which will eventually be sealed, though I'm not sure if I'm going to pressurize it. It will definitely be sealed, but it travels this way. And up another flight of stairs. And my plan is to build a control command area out here. That will kind of dangle from the ceiling, so to speak. It will have oversight over the whole complex inside here. Yep, my plan is to actually to to grind all of this iron out of the way so that we'll have a large open cavern to view. That would be nice. And I'll so probably black actually boxes down there. Yeah, and I'll probably actually bring this down a level once we take all of this equipment down here out. I'll bring this down a level or two and make a glass bubble area around it so that you can actually stand at the edge and look out into into the open space on either side and then uh it'll have a command area that's raised up a little bit so it'll be kind of cool i think beautiful little luxury suite yep i have a plan and then when cheese is working on a manufacturing facility um, I've gotten the medical this first area. First level is going to have a bunch of. First level is going to have a couple of the refineries. The reactors are going to be at a downstairs portion further into the meteor, where the reactors cool. and the third refinery for our uranium will be all efficiencyed out with those new modules that they added. Nice. And that'll be a little further into the core of the asteroid. That way, it's protected from everything. Very nice. But the main production will be up here. Very very nice. Um, how many refineries are you going to put in? You're just going to put in three total? Yeah, two refineries will be up here with the third uh, uranium refinery down where the rest of the reactors are. Keep that cool, all cool. isolated. Uh, very cool. Uh, what about assemblers? How many are you thinking? Just uh, just like I said, three, or do you want to do more than that? Uh, I was thinking just a bank of four, just a nice little cool. square of assemblers. And then uh, two arc furnaces should be fine. Right on, right on. Um, are you... Um, how are we going to tie all of this in? Are you going to open air the uh, the production area? Or are you going to, well, open space the production area? Or are you going to seal it in and pressurize it? This box will be pressurized. The, the frame that you see, that's okay. going to be the pressurized portion. Okay, cool. So I'll start thinking about how to oxygenate hmm hey harvester man 117 oh hey cheese are you watching the uh, the chat oh i forgot yeah let me get that up 
as a reminder. So let's see. I think that I'm going to grind down this ship. Um, this one that's been floating out here. This is Mrs. Hobbs' ship, but she doesn't... Uh, I don't think she's going to be joining us to play the game. She's got uh, she's got a, a bit of a nasty headache going on today, so I'm going to clean this bad boy out and grind it down and get it out of the way, and then I will start working on this command center a little bit more. Maybe I'll work on... You know what? I actually I think I'm going to work on building the... Uh, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Work on building a mole. So that I can grind this uh, this whole area out, because that'll go a heck of a lot quicker that way. I'm excited to finally see this mole you've talked up so much. There we go. Chat should be up now. Yay! All right. Well, it is going to happen maybe today. <laughs> Depends on how long it takes to actually build. That always seems to be my uh, my agenda, is I'm going to do this today. Oops. Right. Uh, I am going to throw a couple extra, um, couple extra oxygen bottles into the tank over here, just in case you need an extra one. I don't know if you've lost them with the logging off, logging on thing. Oh yeah, it looks like uh, looks like I don't have any in my inventory. Yeah, so that shouldn't might, be the case anymore now. Might want to make sure that you've got some, yeah. So they're in the oxygen, uh, the oxygen dangerous. tank over there. Hell yeah, yeah. Throw that ice in there, and I'm gonna actually empty this out what are your frames looking like I seem really choppy right now uh, mine skipped for just a second there but they seem to be okay now are you still choppy a little bit, but I am mining. Oh yeah, that'll do it. The, remember, the hand drill is not uh, is is still affected by the lag. So if you want to mine without That's lag, right. yeah, you, you got to grab the actual grab one of the uh, the the little ship so that you don't lag out. Because otherwise, frame death. But it's cool, we can suffer a little bit of lag for your hand digging. Yeah, I only had to clear out a single meter row mm. here, so we should be set now. The end of the last time I was, uh, I accidentally didn't line up my square correctly because I can't math. <laughs> that will happen. My issue is usually I uh, can't uh, can't add slash subtract slash count. Oh, I almost got all of it. It's always off by just enough. So our uh, our viewer says that he's got a blueprint. For a mining ship that's a uh, five drill oxygen pilot drone combo survival ready with pipes. That's cool. Oh. Mine's a f mine's Those only drones, a four drill. Man, every time I see a drone, it cracks me up. Those drones are great. They really are. I I like to. I the only thing I don't like about the drones is the is the the camera field of view gets a little wonky sometimes if you don't place it exactly right, and that gets kind of obnoxious. But I've got, I think I, we, I, I'm hoping I've got enough materials to build out the, uh, the mole. We'll see. We shall see. If you somehow lack the materials, I will be shocked. Right. 
Alright, so... Hey, that oh, oxygen right. tank's only got three... I guess that's not the important one. Never mind. Yeah, that's not the important one. That's the one that's just the that's just raw storage at this point. Maybe I'll take that in here once I get this room all sealed up for temporary oxygen. Yeah, you can totally do that. You can totally grab the. Uh... Yeah, sure. Send the link. I will. Uh, I'll definitely take a look at it. I could always use more blueprints because I'm the worst at building ships at this point. <laughs> Oh, I don't know about that. Just wait till you see my flying brick. You personally told me about my drilling platform. Well, your drilling platform was it? Uh, your 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 drilling platform really. The only issue that it had was that it was missing a uh, it was missing missing a thruster. I cannot spec. Uh, it was missing one thruster, and that's really the only issue with it. I thought that it was missing a. Um, um, what you call it? Uh, my brain, it's not working. A gyroscope. Yes, that's the word. Gyro. Yeah, I thought it was missing a gyro, but you had it, uh, you had it hiding in the, uh, in the center of the yeah, ship where I couldn't into see it. it. <laughs> so I was like, he's missing a gyro, and then I lifted the ship up, and I was like, oh, no, he's not. It was very efficient. Height it, efficient. It was very well hidden, sir. Very well hidden. I don't know, Harvester. We'll have to see about that. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the drill sled, or what did I end up calling it? I called it the I called it something. I called it something. Drill sled was close. I, th I thought it was something with like a mining platform. Yeah, it was something like, like that, except it was a blamer. <laughs> <laughs> my my particle board miner. It's like the the mining sled or some crap. I think I think it was sled. It sounded it sound that sounds familiar. My problem, harvester, is like I have the design in my head. I just can't translate that to game very well. I have to export those instructions to my weird limbs that just never seem to click right. I just spend a hell of a lot of time in in uh, creative playing with designs. It was really funny though, because like I started in creative and I didn't really play a lot of survival, and I'd like build crazy ships with small cargo containers all over the place, and oh yeah, there's plenty of storage, except that storage in creative is unlimited. So you know, what do you need large cargo containers for, right? And then uh, and then I translated one of those designs into survival, and it was crap. <laughs> I was like. So maybe I need to reevaluate survival. And so as it turns out you need some more things. Yeah, and so I spent I spent some time translating designs into uh, survival functionality and that's how the mole came about. And I actually I have a grinding and welding platform that uh, that I use as well that I really really like. Is it just a modified mole? Because that could be really useful here coming up for our stuff. Um, actually, no. It's uh, it's a completely separate platform because the mole is all uh, it's all small conveyor dependent. It doesn't actually use any large conveyors, uh, and, and that was it was kind of intentional because you can use the you can use small con small conveyors to transfer ore without any issue. So I I was trying to keep the design as compact as possible while still keeping it uh, as functional as possible. And I think that I did a pretty good job. It, it really is. It's, it's very, very mole-like in its functionality. <laughs> Burrows right in and out then? Yeah, yeah, it, it really does. Um, although with the change in the voxel sizes, I need to adjust... I need to think about adjusting the positioning of the drills. Um, because it does run into the the voxels a little bit more now, and I've broken drills off a couple of times while running it, um, just in my test runs. Yeah, so it's uh, it, I might have to make some adjustments to it, but I'll I'll look at it eventually. I'll reevaluate.
this ship here actually might have all of the components that I need to build the, the mole. Hopefully some left over. I'm actually making pretty quick ground today. I think I will be having the first set of manufacturing equipment up. Oh, nice, nice. Very nice. Oh, my inventory got the, pulled up. Uh, I'm going to be running the vent through all the back behind it and then out into the, uh, like, through a little maintenance tunnel through the asteroid itself and then outside for the connector, I think. Oh, uh, cool, cool. Do you want to run the connector outside or do you want to, do you want to actually, like, put it on a, uh, um, I cannot brain today. My goodness. Um, do you actually want to attach it to the, uh, to a, a docking area because we we're gonna have quite a bit of open space I figured it would become a docking area but probably start with a connector in the air for now oh, but, cool. uh, yeah that would be the first unloading area not necessarily the uh, the pad for construction that I want but it'll be the landing area for the Ooh. unloading and all that energy 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 oh no Getting low. That was close. Watch your energy, cheese. Need more electrolytes. <clears throat> right? Because it's what plants want. Space plants crave. That's what the oxygen farm is, I think. That's right. Electrolytes. It's Brondo. <laughs> the oxygen farm is Brondo. That's what space engineers crave. That's what space, engineer what space crave. engineers crave. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have never watched Idiocracy, go watch it now. No, don't watch it now. Keep watching us. Watch nope. it soon and feel oh, sad. Look. I keep dropping shit. I should really stop dropping shit. Because it, like, all rolls down the hole. Look at me, I'm kind of plastic. Oh, look, construction components. Now, where'd those letters go? I saw them flippity flopping down here somewhere. It's time for the glass. Energy just about sealed in over here. <laughs> there's a giant, <laughs> there's a giant stone block down here. <laughs> uh, Just a big old sitting one there. Yeah, I threw some out when I was doing some digging. There was like a whole bunch in the miner, and I just I like threw it out, and it's just sitting down there, wedged in a corner. <laughs> we'll get back to that. Right. So if you ever need a large piece of stone, there's some sitting down there. It's like 9k of stone. Girder. I need girders. Not glass to build glass. Uh, well, you need the girders to hold the glass in place. That's what the steel walls are for. <laughs> the girders make the frame, sir. Grinding, it's so much fun. 